no more other games, only one final uh, department and this game has been played fiercely, clearly. Oh yes, as, uh, look at this, uh, USD exploding for 20 points while limiting Ateneo to its lowest scoring output in a single quarter. But Escalona, the architect of that Ateneo comeback, still eager for this title strike. Maracoso with a follow-up not working, it's a one-point game. Ateneo managing to recover via the free throw line in the third. That's right, Seb. Uh, four out of six from the free throw line as USD once again getting into the penalty over the limit with still a long way to go in the third. Not there with seven rebounds in the game. Shopping around. JC and Tal, Escalona asking for it. Chance for the Eagles to regain the lead. They led at halftime. Escalona cuts up the interior. Nowhere to go. They have to fill it up quickly. And could be a three-second violation. The third on the Blue Eagles. Well, in crunch time, you go to your go-to guys. And JC and Talas, that man is that has been that man for Ateneo. But today, playing 28 minutes, only six points, two of 11 from the field, and two rebounds. And he needs to dig deep inside to be able to lift Ateneo versus the Tigers. Donna, what do you have? And the boys putting all their heads together for the last 10 minutes of the game. Coach Pido just reminded them to be consistently be careful with their moves, especially with handling the ball. The boys collected early fouls already. With this, the coach asked them to be a little more watchful with their moves. Back to you, Seb. Thanks a lot. Baraposa with his second foul. The refs are conferring with the Pasa o Tira, no? And it's just a base line in In the meantime, just very quickly, we'd like to thank you, E, for being our host and being wonderful hosts. And uh, Mr. Brent Perez of the UAP board would just like to say hi to his sister-in-law, Cecil Perez. Here's Dunsil escaping, but managing to pass off to Malat. Partially blocked by Leter. Shot clock coming down to 11. Here's Kua. No, it won't work. It's in the hands of Baracoso. That's a blocking foul. And if that's on Kua, that will be his third. Boy, USD beginning to collect early, not early fouls, but a lot of fouls. Yes, Leter, a major force inside for Coach Norman Alusaini and uh, Doug Raymer seated on the bench, but Latter playing quality minutes for Coach Norman, getting a lot of rebounds, providing intimidation factor inside. 51-50, Escalona into the heart of the defense, but ending up with nothing. Here comes USD, a chance to increase their lead. Time down to 7.57, Dutzel looking around. Chris Tew is back in the game. Shot clock coming down to 11. Here's Jervy Cruz trying to make a decision. Shoots over Otto. It won't go, and Otto picks it up. Here comes Chris Chu. And that's it with a chance to regain the lead. Another opportunity. Chris Chu slows it down. Here comes Intal. Intal thought about it. Intal hangs in the air. Won't work. Rebound contested. Yes, it's USD ball. Intal has played about 30 minutes Not here, Seb. And you see him board. quite fatigued. Oh. No legs underneath that shot. Playing heavy minutes are Escalona and JC and Tal. And let's see if this will augur well for Coach Norman or will this be a major problem for him come crunch time. Here's Jeff Squan making the signal with his ear. Here's Ababu who can burn you from the outside. Here's Dunsil, shot clock coming down now. Dunsil lets it fly, that's an air ball. Like that hash could be just a Jojo. But that go three seconds left on the shot clock set. Wow, that's as, how I understand why. As uh, could have been a dribble driver, a dribble penetration, but Ateneo doing a good job containing their man one on one. Chance for them to regain the driver's seat. Leah, quickly to you. Play with confidence, that's what Coach Norman Black urged his boys to do coming into the fourth quarter. If you're open, take those shots. That's what a championship series is all about. He also reminded his boys to match up with their men and to watch for fouls because they don't want to get into penalty early. Back to you, Seb. Thanks a lot. Al Kramer with an attempt that does not work. We've been stuck here at 51-50 for quite a spell. It's getting to be too comfortable. Uh, talk about fatigue, Seb. These two teams just played oh, last yes. Saturday. And, uh, very, very big challenge right now for USD and Ateneo. Awkward shot finds a way to go home. Ababu nailing it and increases the USD lead to three. These are the youth 
standout, Dylan Ababu, is such a crafty and a clever yes. player. Could have gotten a three-point play opportunity there. Lucky for Chris too, no whistle was called against him. Chris Tu, they're seeking him out. Intal hang time, misses the shot. Picks up, picked up by Leter, Escalona free. Intal blocked, and there's a foul. In, is that going to be on Cruz? Intal is 2 out of 13 from the field right now. Uh, Still not giving up. Cruz. Trying to dig deep inside him to be able to produce the numbers in the dying stretches of this game. That basket a while ago by Babu said was only the first two points. And this quarter with almost four minutes gone by. By the way, um, the father of one of our producers, Maluneri, and of course the father-in-law, Direct Alneri, Cesar Gonzalez uh, passed away over the course of the weekend and um, the body is at Funeraria Nacional. We shall be there right after the game here. Two free throws, Muff, but the rebound, Latter, he's on the line. Well, Latter doing an excellent job. Doing the dirty job for Coach Norman Hassel, plays rebounding, blocking shots, going for the loose balls. But Jason Tal, a big story here today, struggling offensively. Ateneo still down at 50 to 53. Foul trouble. Cruz four, Evangelista four, Espiritu four, Doncil three, two one three. Doncil has managed to stay away from that fourth foul. One fire in the third quarter. Here comes Evangelista. You know he's going to make something happen. Doncil launches in just short. Here comes JC and Tal. Look at those big steps. Escalona up, up and gone. That's the game of Ateneo. Push. Increase the pace, scoring transition, just a one-point margin for USD, 5 and 15 here in the final period. Go on, slowing it down, two team fouls against USD, one against Ateneo. Here's Ababu. Ababu, alam mo kasi madadapa eh, no? And there's a shot by Kuan, nothing there. And now, Ateneo with a chance to regain the lead. Kramer. Trying to offer himself as a pick. It's a pick and roll. That two, Kramer, pick and roll has worked all season long. Oh, yes, especially here in the finals as Kramer sliding quickly to the basket. Chris Tew attacking the defense. And that's a very poor decision there in the previous possession for Jack Stuan. Taking a three-pointer, allowing Ateneo to get the lead at 54 to 53. With time down to 429, a hang time for Michael Lusk. And a foul. Let's see who they give it to. It's on Doug Kramer, hits his fourth foul. You know, this has worked all season long for Ateneo, and uh, ang hirap din talaga depends on pick and roll it. Well, you have to make a decision. It's either you trap Chris Chu because he is a great shooter, or you allow Doug Kramer to slide into the basket and wait for the defensive rotation to shadow him. Mark and Lass missing his first, standing 6-4. He's the early offense guy of USD, actually. Adjusts the free throw, can't make it. Now, we are in the pressure cooker, my friend. Oh, yes. We talk about character, we talk about voice. And what about championship experience right now? Chris Chu busts open. Kramer travel. Good call. Three guys on the floor for Ateneo right now. Played in 2002 championship team with Wesley Gonzalez. Enrique Villanueva and L.A. Tenorio were members of. And today, Ital, Doug Kramer, Escalona trying to regain the glory for the Eagles once more. On the other hand, USD trying to re-energize their basketball program that was in doldrums, especially in the last five years. The shot refuses to go. It's loose. 23, another fresh shot like that is. Vangelista, yes! Just supreme confidence for this team captain of USD. He may not play, he may not be playing well the whole game long, but come crunch time, he is willing to take the big shot each time around. Before that, Escalona and Kramer were going 11 of 22. And look at this, Escalona, the game of his life, no question. 21 big points for Maki Escalona, averaging only nine in this finals, carrying this Ateneo team on his young, broad shoulders. To those who are weak of heart, I suggest embrace a pillow. Vangelista, shopping around. Here's Carlos. 
Short stab, won't work. Into the hands of Latern. And a foul on Evangelista. Is he gone? Yes, he is. Going to be the final foul on Evangelista. As he nails this shot earlier, but the problem is the emotional intensity he provides this team could be a problem for USD. On the other hand, Escalona is not thinking of tomorrow. Well, talk about unselfishness and leadership quality and stability. He brought those three attributes here today. And right now, Ateneo in the driver's seat. Less than three minutes left in this game. JC and Tom's favorite shot does not work. Ababo has it, however. Nobody is sure of this ball game because Ababo is there. Lee changing hands in you. It's now 57-56. The leading scorer of the Growling Tigers pushing the ball, scoring in pass play. Escalona on the other side. In top three. Yes! could probably be one of the biggest baskets for Ateneo. Ateneo not willing to celebrate too early with reserve enjoyment as you saw in that timeout as JC Tal nailed his three-point sun cellular. Better network, better value. Three timeout taken back in a moment. First of all, you joined us during the awarding ceremonies, but now you're here not to do anything else but to enjoy the games. What brings you to the UAP, ma'am? I love college basketball, and this is as good as it gets. It's great. What a great game. Are you surprised about the passion and the energy in the venue right now? Not at all. I feel the same way about my team. It's exciting. Two great schools, two great teams, great fans. All right, speaking of teams, ma'am, I, I see you're holding a yellow and blue. So who? I have to put you on the spot and ask you to choose who are you rooting for. I'm rooting for the Filipinos. <laughs> great answer. I'm rooting for a great game. Great answer. Thank you very much Thanks. for being with us. Great for being here. It's fabulous. I can invite it home. It is our pleasure. Thanks. Very good. In the meantime, thank you very much, Boom Gonzalez. Boom, of course, will handle the awarding ceremonies because we will have one regardless of the outcome of this one. Cortez making a decision and Ateneo takes it away. Two minutes and ten to go. Here's Intal. He will go straight to the basket but gets fouled. Intal had the right thing in mind. Go straight. Why waste time? The opportunity presented itself. It all started with that Kramer block on Jervy Cruz. And then another stop on that incursion by USD as Cortez threw the ball away. Intal getting enough strength here, Seth. In the last two and a half minutes, first hit a three-pointer. And now, getting his 10 point of the ball game, pumping up the life inside this Blue Eagle campaign. 60 to 57, two and seven left. No team near the penalty. And JC and Tal suddenly catching fire. If Brunsil was hot in the third, it's Intal coming to life. But it's not a safe lead. A Teneo by four. Yes. Ababu. As long as he's there, he can burn them. Same with Canlas. It won't work. It is Ateneo ball. Well, once again, you would like to mention the championship experience here, Seb, of Escalona, Intal, and Doug Kramer. Nobody from the UST lineup has played in any finals before. And today, let's see if that will spell to be the big difference in their title campaign. For a long time, none of them were even in the final four. Chris Chu, not there. There's Japs going. There's a Babu. And a foul against Latair. But neither team in penalty. Jervy Cruz only with nine points here today. Take a look. Not too many touches. Not too many touches. So. And this is also what Coach Norman did in game number two. But Ababu and Espiritu were able to, uh, and Dunsil, were able to score heavily. But today, only Ababu has scored in double figures. In games decided by five points or less, USD five and three. Ateneo seven and one. Here's Dunsil. Good crossover dribble. Got it. In crunch time, you go to your go-to guys. USD still threatening Ateneo. Only down by two. Dunsil going to work. And the crowd knows it too. Here's Intal isolated. Isolated. Good score. I have never seen him play this possessed. Yes, in the last two and a half minutes. 
rallying his teammates to a four-point margin. Very, cool. Very poor Five defense foul. there on the part of Dylan Ababu. Jervy Cruz slapped with a fifth personal foul because Ababu gave the right side to JC Intal. And Intal, known as the Rocket, will make USD pay. Look at those eyes. I look at athletes and I look at the eyes. The intensity is all there. And I'm sure he doesn't see anybody here in this Araneta Coliseum. He may not be hearing anything oh, yes. at this moment. That's correct, sir. Bonus free throw for JC Intal. And those are the attributes that makes a champion, sir. Intal, oh boy, flawless in these last two minutes. Yes, seven points in this last two minutes, taking over where Maki Escalona smart, left. Smart move by Japs Kuan trying not to, to touch the ball until the right moment. Gonsil, however, is not yet done. Espiritu is there. He can nail a three. He does! Dangerously close are the Growling Tigers. That's why they are in this situation, but they need a defensive stop against JC in time. Who is again isolated. Who again flies, overcooks it. The rebound controlled by Dunsil. 50 seconds remaining. Here comes Dunsil, slowing it down. Looks for the open man. His spirit too. Shakes, bakes, goes to a bubble. They decide there's a push. Still no team in penalty. Although that is the fourth foul of Ateneo. Ateneo still has two timeouts in its arsenal. UST only with one. And Coach Pido will not be calling his final timeout. Still 43.5 seconds left. As Coach Norman calls the first of his last two timeouts. And we shall be back in a moment with the last 43 seconds. Final 43.5 seconds of the men's basketball tournament. A two-point lead by the Blue Eagles. Penalty situation. And both teams are fouled away. Both teams with a timeout to call. Full shot clock for Uste. Gunsel rushes, lobs it, will not make it. And a basket. And it is UST tying it up at 64. Great execution there. Very quick basket for UST. Here's Intal. They will go to him almost exclusively here. But here comes UST. But Intal saving it. Ateneo ball. Ateneo has one more timeout left. 21 seconds left in this deciding affair between the Tigers and the Eagles. And at Ateneo timeout, we shall hang on to the air. Oh boy, USD must be thinking what is Norman Block planning now. <laughs> well, for the record, Ateneo has four games decided by the last shot. That went in their favor. One coming in game one of the finals, sir. We also had JC Intel winning the game the against twice. Uh, the FU. Uh, once we get the ball, I'll get the inbound. Once we get the basketball inbound, you have 21 seconds. I want the last shot. I want the last shot. You understand? Uh, so we want to go with about six seconds to go. Five, six seconds. All right? I want to get the ball to. Which campus will be different tomorrow? Catipuna or Moraita? That's going to be España. 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 That'll be interesting. 21 seconds. Coach Norman wants the last shot here for the Eagles. Wants the attack to be done in the last six seconds. And uh, no more timeouts for Ateneo. 
USD still has one left. JC Intel with the inbound. Popping out is Escalona. Escalona not making his move. Now makes his dribble. There's Chris Chu. Over to Intel. Intel thought about it. Goes up. Will not make it. There's Japs Kuan. Japs Kuan rushing. I thought so. Overtime. Why not? Why not? That's a very big step there. The part of the Tigers as Intal had the championship in his hands. But we will still play an extra five minutes to settle season 69. Five minutes back. We will be hanging on. That's a good play there by Coach Norman. Yeah, I think uh, it had its chances. You want the ball in the hands of your best player. And Intal had the right idea, taking it strong to the hoop. That shot contested by USD. Extra five minutes here, Sam. Back in a moment. It has been extended to five more minutes. That's our Nokia best play of the quarter, that pick and roll between Tio and Kramer. And we are tied at 64 as we go into extra minutes. Both teams had their chances running, more so Ateneo. Oh yes, Ateneo with a blistering run to end the fourth period. Intal. Had the ball in his hands to try and win it for Ateneo. But you remember the last time in the second round, oh Ateneo yes. and USD also went into overtime. And Pong uh, tried to remind us here of that situation. Best player was Ibang Elisa, 30 points. Jeremy Cruz had 10 points in overtime. The meantime, underway, the outside shot will not work. Here's Jap Skuan. Rebounding vital for USD. No more Alan Evangelista. Jeffy Cruz also gone from this game. F at USD playing with a disadvantage here, and let's see if their biggest, if their big hearts will be enough to get this win today. But their shooters are still there. Can last. The spirit to an offensive foul. They called that yes. the same way from the start of the series. That's correct. Very consistent officiating here, as Chris Chu offering his body, giving possession back here to the Eagles. Wow, in the mind of Pido Harencio, so many decisions. I don't have Cruz, I don't have Evangelista. Boy, the adjusting, the adjustments coaches have to make constantly. Yes, the quick adjustments. You don't have the luxury of time. Talking about time, it's Colonna playing a total of 35 minutes here today. In Tal, 37 of the 40 minutes in regulation. Escuetas on the floor. Escalona, shot clock down to six. They're swinging the ball around, no basket. Kramer looking for a foul, nothing there. Escueta will give up the foul. Coach Norman going to his bench here to start the overtime period. But he's not wasting any time sending back right away Chris Tew. Escalona Tew Latier. <laughs> in Tal and Kramer. Yeah. <laughs> Coach Pido touched the hands of Japs Kuan, eliciting that reaction from USD. Parang paswerte. Sisigaw ito pag pumasok. Eh, nasabi ni Pido, ano pa ang gagawin ko rito? Oh, the hack, a Kuan move. Two out of ten. Two out of nine. But it's when you deliver the free throws that could matter. And it's been delivered, USD up by one. First point of the overtime period. And you have to understand, in overtime, time just flies for some yeah, no strange sense. reason. Oh. Intensity, Segura. Escalona shopping around. Chris Chu, not too many baskets here today, and that's not working for the Ateneo. Yes, excellent blocking out for USD. This can last. He can fire from there. Go on chopping around. Yun still being covered by Escalona. Here's Dizon. He can query you underneath, but he overshoots. But there's a foul. That's just a gutsy play here for Jun Dizon. Didn't get the minutes here today. Played a terrific game number two, but with game on the line. Championship on the line. The biggest game of their careers here for USD. Dizon taking it upon himself to go for that incursion. Leclerc is gone. 
for the game with five personal fouls. Played one hell of a game talking about Zion Latel. Defensively, major presence. Offensively, he figured prominently in attacking the basket for Coach Thurman. Boy, she's praying also, Mrs. Francisco. <laughs> and it's like June Pizan. What does it feel like? You were one of the best free throw shooters, but what does it feel like in that situation? Minsan malalamig ka. That's why you have you to feel so up. alone, no? The pressure, oh. But uh, you always go back to the way you practiced. The countless hours you spent practicing and uh, perfecting the form that will make you shoot those free throws. Escalona says, I want to try this. And I'm looking at Pido Carencio, and I'm seeing at his summer program, it will include free throw shooting. Oh, yes. No matter what happens here. Escalona playing the game of his life. Already here with 26 points. Good answer by Duncil. Escalona shooting the USD Gallery, the Ateneo Gallery after the three-point shot. Duncil with that uh, flying kiss to the USD crowd. Somebody special must be in the crowd also. There's Intal. 2.42 remaining. Intal trying to control his dribble. It's lost. There's Japs Juan. Juan. Got it over to Dunsel. He's trying to control his dribble. Outside to Canlas. Here comes Ababo. Ababo launches a three. No, too strong. Chris Chu had a chance to get to it, but Kuan has it. Tied at 67. This is almost like the Ateneo Adamson game. <laughs> Dunsil passing over the last moment. Ababo creating space. There's a foul. Bordara fouling Kuan. Kuan not hesitating, not thinking twice. Taking the defense of Fordaro to his measure. And once again, free throw shooting for Jax. Kuan will be tested. But Escalona, a magnificent game here today. So 26 points, a 9 out of 16 from the field, 2 out of 4 from the three-point area. And Kuya, Mac, Kuan. Ronnie, pressure and all. Anong mali sa free throws niya? Well, you have to talk about the form. The form, you no? talk about the form. Yung legs, yung knees din, eh, no? Oh, Hindi tumutulong sa pagtase, oh. Talk about the form. But he nails uh, yeah. the second, and that's all that counts and right now. For that, I'll sit down, but of course, it's in. For so long as the split is available for Japs 2 one Coach Pido will take it. Because USD is back in the driver's seat. Two minutes and six. USD 68, Ateneo 67. Last two minutes. Last two minutes and you, Escalona still has it. Ateneo 5, amply covered. Chris Chu, however, tries to break loose. Escalona thought about it. He drives. Gets it to go. Escalona. We'll talk about courage. Talk about big heart. Escalona bringing all that today in the game of his life. Both sides. Oh, Both yes. sides. Just personified by certain people like Dunsil. Air ball though. Dunsil keeps it alive. Blocked. There's a foul on Chris too. Could have been a big stop for Ateneo, but who's the best guy to get the offensive rebound after taking a shot? The one who took the shot. And Dunsil, without Jervy Cruz here for Ateneo, we go to the free throw line. Suddenly, Escalona seems so much taller when he's in the air. He's playing with so much confidence here in game number three. Whose ice water in the veins is oh, yes. better here today? This game could be decided in the free throw line, sir. Dunsil knocks in both charities and USD back in the driver's seat. A dog fight, as we called it, Seb. He who blinks loses him. Oh, definitely. Intal isolated. Escalona open. Not on that trip. Kramer kicks it up to the wrong man. Here's Ababu. A minute and 14. Doncil thought about it. Got Baracoso flying. Got it! A master at the shot fake. In the pull-up, jumper, USD, three-point margin, almost 
One minute left here in overtime period. Chris Till back to Intal. Intal back to Till. Fires a three. Yes! Best three points in the part of Rio. No wing. Went to strike. Back to even Stevens himself. Wow. Something's got to give somewhere, but when, I have no idea. Here you find Dunsil with this difficult pull-up jumper, but JC Intal said, attracting the defense, Chris Tew, the best three-point shooter for Ateneo, coming to work. Back in a moment. We take a look at all the essentials. First, the score. It's 72 apiece. 55 seconds remaining. We are in overtime. Penalty situation in effect against both. And by the way, don't forget, protect La Mesa, protect the water resources in the country. Text LM Space, protect space, name, address, center 2366 for Globe and 231 for Smart. UST will be in possession after that big tray by Chris Chu. And Coach Pedro Arecho making a major decision here, bringing in June Cortez in lieu of Japs Kuan, anticipating another Hakakuan move here by Ateneo. And Cortez, uh, they're recalling him just to make sure that he had gotten his visa. Here comes the inbound. Cortez, Dunsil, Escalona watching Dunsil. Dunsil with a great fake, yes! Once again, getting up his defensive uh, cover up in the air. The master of that shot fake. UST 74, Ateneo 72. Here's JC and Tau gliding high, and we are still tied. 32.5 seconds left. UST can go for the shot in the last few seconds, and that will leave Ateneo with about eight at the most in this game. Ateneo is a timeout to call. UST is out of timeouts. In the meantime, here's Cortez. Three. No. A bubble. No, no, no. There's a foul downstairs. Ateneo still has one timeout left. A bubble in the finals. Shooting 67% from the free throw line. And now Chris Chu gone for because of five personal fouls after hitting that tray. USD trying to talk things over. Both teams in the penalty. 12.5 seconds left. As we pointed out, this game could be won in the free throw line. Big, big free throw slide now for Dylan. Not the time to be missing. Jack already missed two here in the overtime period. Seb, Nababu missing the third free throw for USD. And it's a one-point lead. Oh boy, UST knows this all too well. well. The season boils down to one defensive stop for UST, while for Ateneo, a last chance at the title.
JC Intel missed what could have been a game-winning layup in regulation. But here in overtime, once again, Coach Norman wants the ball in the hands of the best player of the Ateneo Blue Eagles. We look at JC Intel to take the last shot or create a scoring opportunity here for the rest of his teammates. 12.5 seconds remaining in overtime. Maracosa the inbound. Everybody amply covered. Intal gets to it. Intal looking at the clock. Nine seconds. Intal drives hard. Last shot. Misses it. Intal takes it. It's a jump. It will go to USD. Still not over. Still not over. 4.3 seconds left. Ateneo in the penalty. It's USD 4.3 seconds away from it. In a game one from the free throw line. Yes, remember Ateneo, one game one with one second left. Although that play coming off a timeout. No more timeouts for USD. None left for Ateneo. Let's see, 4.3 seconds left. Inbound in front of the USD bench. Some situational subs being put in. Do they foul here? That should be interesting. Inbound and the foul. Even if June Cortez makes his two free throw set, that will leave Ateneo enough time to go court to court, take a layup, make a jumper, or go for the three point shot. That's why it's very, very crucial for June Cortez to nail, to nail the free these throws. Two free yes. throws. Just can't celebrate too early here, Seb. Well, U.S. team realized that last time around in game one. Cortez nails the first. That was only his very first trip in the free throw line, Seb, here in the entire finals. It's the impossible journey going to find its fruition, its completion. Here, Jai Reyes launches, no, and USD has won the 69th season UAAP title. Final score, 74 for the Ateneo Blue Eagles, 76 for the new champions. In overtime, UAAP, completing a miracle season where they thought they would never go anywhere. At the bottom of the standings, they are again champions of the UAAP and Pidoja Rancho.